This island, foreboding and mysterious, truly looks like something out of a pirate novel. And its sordid history is one of the most amazing pieces of lore you'll ever hear. Mutiny, murder, courage, and a remarkable journey all partake in the legend that makes up this not too often visited rock. If you've never heard the story of the mutiny on the bounty, you're in for a treat, as this true story is nearly unbelievable. In this episode, we'll learn how the 50 or so inhabitants came to live on one of the most inaccessible places on Earth, and why the Queen of England has a particular affinity for the bees of Pitcairn Island. about to land on Pitcairn. We were sailing till 3 a.m. more or less and then we had to douse the spinnaker because we're in a complete dead zone right now and we're gonna be for the next three days. That gives us some time to explore Pitcairn. Pitcairn Island, Pitcairn Island, this is the sailing vessel Zingaro channel 160. much. Um, this is sailing vessel Zingaro, Zingaro, and uh, we're very happy to be here. Zingaro. Okay, um, how many on board, Eva? There's just two of us today. Over. Okay, come on into Bounty Bay. It, it's, uh, it's been beautiful in Bounty Bay all day and uh, yesterday also. So um, it should hold for another couple of days. So come on into Bounty Bay and um, See if you're happy with the anchorage there, right? Sounds great. I've got it on the chart. I've got a waypoint from another cruiser, so we'll hop in the water, make sure we're in sand, and uh, I think the swell's coming in from behind us, but do you guys allow uh, dinghies to land in the harbor there, over? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what size outboard do you have? Uh, we have an eight horse, but we have a planing dinghy, so it's, uh, it's pretty quick. Over. Oh, perfect, perfect, yeah, um, yeah, no problem on that. Alright, sounds good. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. Because standing by on 16. See you in the morning and have a good night. Okay, thank you very much. Zingara back to 16. How nice was that? It was like the most warm welcome I've ever had anywhere. And cool, so we can take the dinghy. We don't have to pay the fisherman with money we don't have because we don't have any, any cash. So, that's a good thing. And this island looks rad. It's kind of like imposing. It's like what Gotham City looks like in Batman cartoons. Just cool, cool island. Way different than Henderson, huh? Yeah, much different. And much different than Ducey. This is like, uh, I can't wait to see Oeno because I want to I wanna compare all four, but they're completely different from each other. I can't wait to dive the bounty, dude! This is rad! We made it to Pitcairn. It's all sand here. The swell's coming in from over here, so we're not going to be protected in this bay at all. Not from the swell, anyway. Swell's not very so big, though. So let's just go out to where there, this is all rock right here. Let's go over here. Oh, look, the depth sounder. That would have been asking for too much. A depth sounder that actually reads depth. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I have to go in because I have I have um, complete clear visual of the bottom. I can see just as well without the mask. I don't can't tell how deep it is though. It doesn't look very deep here. In true form, our outboard decided not to start. So leave it to the crew of Zingaro to be the first ones in recorded history to paddle a port boat right into the harbor. After five minutes of paddling, we made it to this Bounty Bay, Pitcairn Island. Today's mission is to complete the check-in here at Pitcairn Island. For that, we have to visit Adamstown, where most of the 50-ish inhabitants of Pitcairn live. The town lies right above the landing. To get there, we had to climb the Hill of Difficulty. Yes, that is the name of the hill we're climbing there. When we arrived to the immigration office, we experienced a warm welcome. And instantly, the officials invite us to join them for a beer at Pirate Paul's, the only bar on Pitcairn. Paul is a direct descendant of the mutineers of the Bounty, and about as close to a real pirate as one can meet in this lifetime. He and his wife Sue shared with us the complete bloody history of Pitcairn. The full 40 minute interview is available on Patreon, and if you'd like to watch, the link is in the description. But here's a quick summary. In the end of the 18th century, three weeks from the shores of Tahiti on a mission to deliver breadfruit to England, the HMS Bounty was seized in a mutiny led by Fletcher Christian, the master's mate. Captain William Bly and 18 of his loyal supporters were set adrift in a 23-foot open sailboat, ultimately sailing 3,600 nautical miles to Timor, Indonesia, while the Bounty and her mutinous crew found Pitcairn, ran the boat aground, and set her alight in what is now called Bounty Bay just 500 feet from where you see our little catamaran today. All right guys, Pitcairn in the background, probably for the last time for this season anyways. We are gonna paddle in. I shot a giant kingfish, like this size. Ooh, this size. We got all this on there <laughs> this morning. And we're gonna paddle it in and share it with our friends Paul and Sue. And hopefully with Carrie and Heather too, people we met people that were awesome here on the island and we're hoping that we're gonna have good winds to go to Oeno, another of the Pitcairn Islands, tonight. The road from the dock is going up straight to Adamstown, the only town on this island and that's where all our friends live. So let's go. Okay. Grab your paddle and let's go. Good shot. Anchored. And this is where we came up. And this is right here. Um, this is up here is where Paul lives. And we wanna go St. Paul's right here. We're gonna go on the bike. It's seven kilometers and it's already 2 p.m.
Welcome to St. Paul's Pool. It's a warm and inviting, tranquil pool set in the southeast of Pitcairn. So, are we going swimming? <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> I break up, yeah? Oh. Whoa! It doesn't look too much like a pool today, guys. Whoa! Oh my god! Wow! Yeah! So Paul didn't let us know where we were going, and as a consolation prize for not being able to get into the pool, we're at the top of the island! Oh, and the ride up here was so awesome too. We were just gunning it and slipping all over the place, and it's really, really uh, lush up here. All the trails are full of foliage and super cool. Nobody lives out on this part of the island. And they have this. Over the years, many places have taken our breath away. Pitcairn was unlike any of them. While we wish we could have explored for a month, Mother Nature had other plans. So as we say goodbye, we wish to thank all of the beautiful people we encountered and send a special thank you to Pirate Paul and Sue for taking in a couple strays, letting us take hot showers, and providing some very interesting and educational conversation. This was one of the highlights of our journey, and we're very happy to be able to share it with you. Oh, and if you're wondering about the bees, Pitcairn Honey is a favorite of Her Majesty, and her and Prince Charles have become such fans of the variety produced on Pitcairn, they have both written to the residents to tell them how much they enjoy it. Stay tuned next week as we visit the last of the Pitcairn Islands, Oeno. Oh,